To make the panel design, I need to add a plane. So shift A, add a plane, then go to the edit mode and then subdivide it. You need to subdivide it three to four times as like this, then you will get this much subdivisions. After that, you need to select the faces with the shift select as like this. So select the faces in this manner and then the next thing you need to right click and then use the loop tool and then circle option and then adjust the scale. So that's why you need to turn on that individual origin and then you can adjust the scale of the circle. You can see the circle shape at there. After that, you need to use the insert operation and then delete the faces. Then select everything and then take the symmetry along the x axis. Then you can select these face loops and you can delete this. Then you can select these words and then you can adjust the position of the words. So that's why you need to move these words along the x axis and you need to create a little bit of design at there. So easily you can do this by moving the words. After that, you need to add the loop cut like this and then select everything and then mesh symmetrize, take the symmetry along the x axis. Then you can add the loop cuts like this because these are the supporting loop cuts to maintain that form. And now select everything and then go to the orthographic view and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Just to add a little bit of thickness add there on the model. And then you can add the loop cut like this. The next thing you need to add the sub modifier on the model. And you can see we are getting the smooth mesh add there. Just we need to add this kind of supporting loop cuts to maintain those harder corner and to maintain that design. So you can adjust the position of the words with the help of double tap G that each slide. Then select everything, mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. Now I need to add the lattice. So shift A add the lattice. And now you need to scale this lattice according to the form of the mesh. So make sure your lattice should be a little bit bigger than your mesh. So that's why you need to scale it along the X, Y and then Z axis. And just give the right size to it. Then you can go to the lattice properties and here you need to increase the resolution. So just increase the resolution and you can use the wireframe mode for that. And you can get the help of the wireframe of that mesh. And according to that you need to give the right resolution for that lattice. Then you need to add the lattice modifier on the mesh and then select that lattice in that lattice modifier. Then go to the edit mode of the lattice and here you need to select the words and just we need to move these words along the z axis. So you can create this kind of curve form at there, that bump form. Now just you need to do one thing here, just apply that lattice modifier and then you can delete that lattice. And now you will get this kind of form, panel form. Now just you need to select these faces and you need to add more details on it. So easily you can do this. So select the faces, press I for the insert operation and use the loop tool add there to create a boolean details add there. And then you need to select these edges and use the bridge edge loop or you can use the loft option. You can see we are getting little bit of weird results because of the wrong face orientation. So that's why select everything and then press Alt N and then recalculate the normal. So you can give the right face orientation at there. After that, just you need to choose the symmetry along the X and Y axis. And now you can see that looks pretty well. Share smooth it and increase the sub D count up to 2. And now you can see the panel looks decent. So now just you need to select these edges and then Ctrl B to add the bevel and then delete the faces and then fill the gaps by pressing F. And just create the right loop structure at there to create this kind of cutouts. Easily you can do this and you can create a more decent looking design on this panel. So that's why simple step. Select the edges, Ctrl B to add the bevel, then delete the faces and then fill the gap. And just create a right loop structure at there. And you can create this kind of panel details. You can play with the design and you can find different results at there. So you can create a decent looking panel details. So it's totally depend on your creativity. And now you can see that looks pretty well. In this way, we can create this kind of panel model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.